Welcome to Paris Charles de Gaulle. Let's discover together a unique operational concept in Europe. Simultaneous parallel approaches for Paris Le Bourget and the two sets of runways at Paris Charles de Gaulle. On the controller's radar screen, arrivals for the southern pair of runways are in red. In pink when due for the northern pair. Arrival for Paris Le Bourget are in purple. Runways are in the center of the screen. For this arrival sequence, airplanes are landing facing west. Four initial approach fixes distribute the traffic on arrival for the runways. Bannox and Mopar for southern and northern downwinds, Lorny and Okipa for base legs. The arrival sequence is prepared by Paris Charles de Gaulle ATC 30 minutes prior to touchdown. The Paris en route centre transfers all arrivals accordingly with a separation of 8 nautical miles between each aircraft. This close en route and approach collaboration contributes to the efficiency of this concept of operations. It is 7.45 a.m. local time. The most significant arrival peak, also called P2, is about to start. Identify a flight and follow its path. Behind which plane will it be positioned? What are the successive altitudes it will be given? Which runway will it be assigned? Outside any peak hour, the runway assignment strategy considers the shortest taxi route towards the final parking stand to assign its landing runway to an arrival. Even if your flight comes from the north with a stand at terminal 2E, you will be vectored towards the southern runway. The P2 is starting. One can easily notice that the traffic is getting more important, particularly from base leg entry fixes. Now that traffic is intensifying, the runway assignment strategy has to evolve. Aircraft coming from the south are vectored towards the southern landing runway, the ones from the north to the northern landing runway. Separation between flights to join their stands will now be handled on the ground. A simultaneous parallel approaches concept of operations Securing the ILS interception phase is a priority. Pairs of runway at Paris Charles de Gaulle are less than 3 nautical miles distant. When the flights on arrival sequence get closer to the axis, the minimum lateral separation can no longer be maintained, and air traffic control must deliver a 1000 feet separation instead, leading to different ILS interception altitudes to be provided. In this particular example, 5,000 feet when vectored for ILS 27 right, 4,000 feet for ILS 26 left, 3,000 feet or 5,000 feet for Le Bourget's ILS. To keep up with this vertical separation at all times, ATC has to request a minimum rate of descent of 1,300 feet per minute for flights vectored towards the southern landing runway. As soon as an altitude instruction is given, crews have to comply. Remember that facing east, this rate of descent constraint must be applied when vectored for runway 09. Once established on the localizer, planes are considered as being separated. Occasionally, and when available, air traffic controllers will vector a specific flight towards the closest landing runway to its parking stand position, thus achieving real-time operations optimization. This is the case with Air France 112 Hotel, and Regional 489, whose colors change from pink to red, although coming from the north. They shall both be vectored towards the southern runway and positioned behind Cityjet 504 Charlie, coming from the southeast. To allow safe and efficient arrival sequences, specific speed patterns are applied. 250 knots on base leg, 280 knots on downwind. To maintain the needed separations between pairs of planes and to avoid any catching up, successive speed reductions may be instructed. During peak hours, instead of relying on high-speed arrivals and systematic use of holding patterns, the Paris Charles de Gaulle operational concept relies on this particular speed management to allow significant fuel savings to be achieved. Once established on the axis, Planes would frequently be separated with the minimum regulatory distance. When crews decide to reduce their speed below the one assigned, and without telling ATC, it can sometimes lead to a loss of separation with the following aircraft. Advising ATC at all time with speed reductions on the axis is a safety guarantee. 
Paris Charles de Gaulle has implemented effective and efficient procedures that request a close collaboration between crews and air traffic control. The CDM at CDG 2020 roadmap has been designed to make Europe's number one platform ready for the coming traffic growth by improving capacity while maintaining the highest levels of safety. The operational efficiency of such ATC system relies on the participation and commitment of all first-line actors. We're counting on you.